Hi, welcome. I'm Robin here from Robin Strones. Today we'll be doing a Potensic Atom complete flight tutorial. So I will show you everything about this drone, whether you just received it for Christmas or thinking about buying it for yourself. It's a great value drone this is. So I'm going to go ahead and put this camera on my chest mount. Right, let's get the drone and gear out then. I put it in this bag. It's a great bag. It opens from the back. So first thing we're going to do is get the drone out. We have to remove the gimbal cover carefully. There's lots of delicate components in here. Unfold the arms. I'm going to stick that up here for now. Uh, get a battery. Uh, I've gone for the uh, Creator Combo. I originally bought the normal one, but it was just such good value. So I sent that back and got this one. So we're going to... Oh, one thing. Fully charge your batteries. The batteries and the controller. So I'm going to pick the middle battery out. Slide the battery in the drone like so. I recommend turning the drone on first, then you'll get GPS. So I'm going to click and click and hold. And you'll see the gimbal goes through some sort of calibration process there. Now I'm going to put that up there. Next up, I'm going to grab my phone up my pocket. And I'm going to attach this with the 90 degree end in the phone like so. Then I'm going to grab the controller, lift the antennas up. See it slides so you put your phone in. I've got that cable the wrong way. I need it in that way. You're going to put your phone in this little slot here. Pull forward, turn the control on by clicking and holding. Plug the USB-C in. Uh, the little joysticks are here, so I'm going to go ahead and screw them on. And the other one. Right, the app should automatically open, which it has. And we click enter device. Connected. And there we are, we're connected. And it's coming up with compass. Let me go ahead and record my screen. Right, we are now recording our screen. Compass calibration, this does this occasionally. So we're going to grab the drone. Actually, not grab the drone yet, leave that on there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the three dots. I'm going to go to calibration. And I'm going to go to compass calibration. Start calibration. Horizontal calibration. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin the drone around. Calibration. And then the same vertically, which is pretty hard to do. Calibrated successfully. And that has been calibrated successfully. Right, what we're going to do, I'm going to start my recording now. Again, you can use the button there, or there is a button up here I should have used, really. I'm going to head to my landing map pad. I'm going to put the drone down there with the controller. And we've got 19 satellites. We should be good to go. Takeoff permitted. Right, there are two ways we can take off to do an auto takeoff or a manual. So I'm going to show you both ways. So on here, you see this little takeoff icon. Click there, and we're going to swipe this. I'm going to move away a bit first. And now I'm going to swipe this, and the drone should take off. And there we go, as you can see. The drone has taken off. Now, flight controls. Right. Now, this control here will move the drone up if I push up. Let me get me in the frame. So, yeah, this goes up, as you can see, and this goes down by pushing down. And obviously, the more you press it, the further the drone's going to go. So, if I go ahead and pull it all the way up, the drone will go up fast. The next up is this joystick. Oh no, we haven't done. So if we go left and right here, the drone will spin around. Will yaw around. So moving on to this joystick, if we go forward, we are going to go forward and hit me. <laughs> I'm pushing that way, you go backwards. 
and then basically left and right. So if we want the drone to go left, it's that way. And we go right. And of course you can use a combination of these. So we can go, if I line the drone up on me, we can go back and up at the same time like this. Slow that gimbal down a bit. As you can see, we're going back and up. It's quite good today, it's a windless day. So I'm going to go ahead and take a seat down here on this pillar and let's go and do some flying. Right, before you start flying, and really before you start taking off, we should go into the safety settings by clicking these three dots up here. I'm going, going into safety. Now you can choose Unix, metric or imperial, speed setting, video, normal or sport. Now I'm going to show you this now. So video mode, let's see how fast we go. So our speed is down here in metres a second. So I'm going to fly forward and let's see how fast we get. So that's six metres a second on video. Now let's try on normal. And let's spin the drone around so we come back towards us. Now normal we should reach, well let's, let's see. Now normal we are going to reach, should be 10. There you go, 10 metres a second. So that's the speed of normal. And let's turn the drone around. And now let's switch her in sport. Now sport mode is obviously the quickest. I think that will do 35 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and go forward. Fourteen, fifteen point five. Might get sixteen meters a second. Yeah, I believe that's about thirty-six mile an hour. So it's pretty quick. As you can see, I'm going to turn the drone around and head back towards us. You'll see how quick it is. Let's lower our altitude a bit. And we are just here. So we're approaching the top speed now. Thirteen meters a second. So that's how quick it is. Now what else have we got in the safety menu? Signal lost. This is very important. I should have showed you just at the start. So if you lose the signal, it will return to home, which is good in most scenarios. You've also got the option of landing or hovering. Um, if you're walking around with the drone, so your home position's moved, I recommend putting it in hovering or landing where you are. But other than that, for 99% of the times, I recommend return. Next up, our minimum return altitude. Now this is the return altitude when you send our home. So for today's, for today, I'm just gonna put 40 meters. There's also an option there, silent return, which is quite good. In fact, I will show you that now. You can set a virtual fence up, altitude limit, distance limit. You can enable flight safety tips, battery information. Let's have a quick look at that. So you've got 80% battery. Currently using 4,000 milliamp hours. There's a battery temperature there and the cycle count. So let's go ahead and test that return to home. I'm going to have to fly a bit more forward. And we are still in sports mode. So if we want to return to home or we've lost the signal, we just click and hold this button. So let's go. Returning. Returning. And you hear that annoying beep. And the drone is ascending now. To the 40 metres. Now that annoying beep, if you push the power button, you can get rid of that. Like so. Right, the drone is spinning round and coming back. I'm going to lower that gimbal. And that should land pretty, pretty close to the pad. Yeah, it's a little bit off, look. There we are, the drone is coming down. Again, I've silenced that bleep.
and I'm going to probably take over manually because it's pretty muddy down there. So if we want to cancel that, we can either push this red X or push the pause button. Now I've pushed the pause button. Now I'm going to move, I'm going to come out of sports mode. It's too hard to control. I'm going to go in video mode. Now I'm going to go backwards a little bit, touch. And I'm going to pull straight down on this lever to land. And there we go, we should have landed on the pad. Now the second way to take off, if I go and put it back in the middle, is a manual takeoff. So in order to do this, we push the controls fully this way or away from you to start the motors up. So let's try that. There we go. And then we just push up to get the drone airborne. And there is the drone. All right, we are currently recording. Let me go ahead and sit down again. Now we are currently recording in 4K 30. We have got the option for 1080p 60, but to be honest, most people will be filming in this. So the maps. So if you click the maps, you can up, open up the big map and it will show you in fact, let me fly a bit further away. Right, so if I just pinch to zoom, you can see our home position. That blue dot is our controller, which I'm not pointing the right way at the moment. That should turn green, which it has, when we're connectly directed to the drone. And this is the drone, so if I push forward, the drone's going to move. Now the maps are handy, but to be honest, most of the time you're going to use the, the little compass thingy. And that shows the same thing. If I spin around, it's gone blue now because I'm not pointing at the drone. And that also shows you your wind. If that line is not level, basically it's a little bit windy and it's blowing the drone to that side. So personally, this is how I like to use it and not the maps. Now at the moment, when I turn left and right, you'll see the horizon stays level. And now if you didn't want to fly light and you wanted to fly FPV, there's a setting for that. So if we click the three dots, we go under, we go under control and we see here stable mode, FPV mode. So now if I turn that off, on, and if I now go left and right, see the gimbal will stay as the aircraft is moving, which is good for a bit of FPV flying. See, the moment I stop, the gimbal's going to straighten out because the aircraft will straighten out. So let's go ahead and fly this way for a bit in FPV gain a bit of altitude and we will turn on right back towards us so we are over here so yeah that's FPV if you're into that I imagine most people want that horizon level so we're going to go back to stable mode as for the gimbal we can increase that you see on the right we can go 20 degrees up and 90 degrees down. Useful for landing and sometimes shots like this look quite good from above. Yeah, you got some nice aerial shots there. Now up in the top right and part of the screen, we've got what angle the gimbal's on, it's currently minus 32. We're in GPS mode, 26 satellites, and we've got full signal, and we've got 59% battery remaining, and that's 16 minutes. 
17 minutes now. As you'll see, it will change because if I start flying forward, that will go lower because it's based on your battery usage right now. In fact, it hasn't. It's still the same. Unfortunately, I can't do a range test here in the UK, but I can try to block the signal and see how far we can get out. So, so down in the bottom, the D is the distance from us, so 14 metres. So let's go ahead and see if we can lose the signal. Right, so we are 30 metres out now. We've got the antennas pointing straight at the drone. Because if you have them like that, I've seen some other people, you're just bouncing up off the floor, basically. So, let's see if we lose signal. We've still got full bars at the moment. 100 metres out. And we are 22 metres high. 200 metres out. Oh no, we are 200 metres out now. I'm going to raise the altitude a bit because it's gone in a dark cloud now. So we are 250 metres out. Still full signal. 300 metres out. Bear in mind, we're only 30 metres high, but there's nothing in the way. 400 metres out, so that's plenty for the UK. I think we'll stop at 500 metres. I can still see the drone. If I stay above them dark clouds. So we're coming up to 500 metres. And there we go, 500 metres, and we've still got, what, two bars of signal? So just out of curiosity, I'm going to point this down the floor, or the other way. And we've still got two bars. Right, I'm going to come and fly back to us. So I'm going to turn the drone around. And head on back to us. Still got good signal. What have we got? 48% battery. Again, we can use our maps to line up the green. So as you can see, there's no video breakup, no issue with the signal at all on this little drone. It's probably not as good as the DJI system, but I'm not gonna fly out that far. So we'll be 200 meters away. Currently 44 meters high. Hundred and fifty meters out. There I am down there. Right now we also have a zoom on this camera. If I click on the one times, you get your one well your two times zoom. Or you can click and hold it and you get like a little smooth wheel. So that's what the zoom looks like. And that's just cropping in on the image though. So you're gonna get a bit slightly lower quality image. So we've been filming for 16 minutes, still 12 minutes battery remaining. And as you can see, our battery is not hot, 27 degrees. And now I'm gonna stop recording for a sec. Now we also have picture mode using this button. And now we are at photo mode. And again, photo mode's got zoom again. So this is what a photo looks like. 
it's pretty basic the photo mode you haven't got nothing like panorama or wide angle it's just a picture you can do a time shot though You've got to click and hold this so you can take a shot every three from zero seconds to 30 seconds so every three seconds if we push the capture button we get a picture every three seconds and we can fly the drone while doing this I suppose if you really wanted to, you could stitch these pictures together yourself. You've also got full manual, if you push this little A, you've got full manual control. With the ISO, the white balance, shutter speed ISO. You can shoot in JPEG or JPEG and RAW. So let's go back to video mode with our button. Let's fly over the houses a bit. And we'll start recording. So this is what the quality looks like of a couple of houses. Get a bit higher. Now on this about screen we have got our device model, firmware version, you get a load of different versions, flight control, gimbal, remote control and so on. They do regular updates, Potenzik. Now you don't need to use the manual landing, you can just line her up yourself. And just pull down on the control when we're, we need to go forward and right a bit. Like so, and I'll start to come on down now. And we are bang on in the middle. Where we were, but we can pause and adjust the drone a bit to get roughly in the middle. Now we do. Did we get on the pad? Yes, we did. Right, this drone also has um, waypoints and it's got some quick shot modes, which I will show you. We've got to stop recording. Oh, our drone not airborne. All right, we need to take off again in order to see them. Now the quick shots, we got pull away, rocket, circle, spiral and boomerang. So what I'm going to do to stop this video being too long, I'm going to put that on another video. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing the quick shots, I'm going to put the quick shots up here and I'm going to put the waypoints up here. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.